Alright, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about a next big cooldown that's going to be coming up for the end of August into the beginning of September, those first two or three days of September. But before I get it started with this video, though, I would ask you to do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out those links in the description for our social medias, as well as the pinned comment, which is going to have the Facebook group, which has been very active recently. We want all... Uh, people who would be interested in a weather community on Facebook to join because it's going to be super duper cool. We already have, uh, I think, well over 25 posts a day happening, so it is quite active. Now, let's get straight into the video, though. We are looking at 24 hours out on the GFS Ensemble model here. You can see in those dark blues, we have anywhere from 4 to 8 degrees below average Celsius here, which is pretty far below average. And you can see, in general, from basically anywhere east of the Rockies down south into the northern portions of Texas and then eastward into Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. We do have below average temperatures within that, so some of the Great Lakes regions, areas like that. We do have that big warm up there for the west and you saw that in my weekly video if you check that out this morning. We do have a lot of warm ups coming for the west, west coast of the United States and really in the east coast of the United States we're looking at average conditions overall over the next, you know, five or so days. Now we are going to move on a frame to Thursday 0Z. So this is going to end up being Wednesday night, Wednesday 9, 10 p.m. ish. You can see that the cold is moving eastward and that warm up for the west is becoming more potent as time goes on. But basically we see a cool down from the Dakotas down through Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and Texas. That is so crazy to see you guys in the below average I know a lot of you from there have been dealing with the heat for a long, long time now, and you're probably super happy. You're probably super happy today when you woke up and it wasn't quite as bad, but you're probably super happy to be seeing these blues on uh, the weather videos now, finally, after so long. But we do have a lot of those dark blues up north of you in Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. South Dakota, areas like that were all well below average within these regions. So we are going to move on one more to 48 hours out. And you can see this cool down moves eastward even further into the east coast. The southeast, including Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania, New York. All of these areas are below average by this point. This is Thursday morning time so this is in a couple days and you can see it is looking to be cold along the coast of the united states here and you can see that next cool down is building there in montana north dakota south dakota that's going to be kind of our next story that we're going to be talking about here because we will already be seeing this next cool down come in in just a minute but basically this first cool down is going to be from the dakotas and then move its way eastward day by day till the Great Lakes northeast, the east coast, the southeast. Some of those areas in Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas are cooled down by this point. So we are going to move on one more. And you can see that southeast cool down or the coastal cool down there is already dying out. Not quite as cold and it doesn't take up as much space at all. Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia were all still pretty cold, as well as some areas right near the there near the Finger Lakes in, in New York. We are quite cold, but this is dying out. And you can see that the biggest cool down here by this point is the one that's located now over Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, areas like that. And that is just going to make its way down south and east eventually. So we are going to take a look at what this one does. You see that coastal cooldown actually moves kind of south by this point, moving back into Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Georgia, Tennessee, and really it's moving away from the upstate New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Virginia, and North Carolina areas. Those areas start to warm up a little bit. Even though they're still slightly below average, they start to warm up. And then you can see in the north central United States, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, we're all starting to see this big, big, big cool down. And you can see in the dark blue, purples, pinks, that's all 8 to 12 degrees below average Celsius. So that's pretty darn far below average and what I would call well below average by this point. And that's going to just continue to make its way east and south. You can see here by Saturday night or Friday night actually. <clears throat> that one in the southeast is starting to turn only to light blue so it's 
it's turning more slight. It's a little less uh, potent by this point, but the one in the north is starting to turn darker and darker and darker blue by this point, and you can see a lot of those pinks again. That's 8 to 16 degrees below average by this point. Some of those darkest pinks in Nebraska are lightest pinks, actually. Could be closer to 16 degrees below average by this point, so very far below average <clears throat> for Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. All of these areas are well below average by this point, as well as Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And this is only going to continue to move eastward. You can see we have this cool down extend into the southeast by this point as well as the Northeast. So basically Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan getting the brunt of that Northeast one. Also notice New England is starting to cool down and upstate New York. We're all starting to get well below average by this point. So this will be one of our biggest cool downs in New England so far this year, but the Southeast is starting to cool down again. So Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, we're also having a cool down by this point. We're going to move on one frame. And this is to September 1st. And you can see we kind of have even like another cool down move in. So this is kind of like a triple whammy here. But we can see that this this a big amount of cold there for South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, where those pinks show up again. Again, that's closer to 12 to 16 degrees below average in there, Celsius. So it, it's far, far, far below average in those regions. But it extends down into Kansas, Oklahoma in those darker blues. So that's still going to be pretty far below average, as well as interior New England and upstate New York or pretty far below average. The southeast, though, you're starting to turn more average or slightly above average by this point. We are going to move on to midday on September 1st. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see that that cold has moved further east, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, into New England and interior uh, New York. That's where we're seeing the coolest temperatures by this point, which is only about 4 to 6 to 8 degrees below average. In New England, we're dealing with some of those lighter blues down there in the southeast still. So that's going to be 0.5 to 2.5 degrees below average Celsius. So no big deal whatsoever. Not even something worth mentioning, really. And then you can see by this point on the 2nd of September, we're seeing those, those cool temperatures become less cool. A lot more of those light blues showing up. A lot less of the dark blues there for the north uh, so we are going to move on one more and you can see it tapers off even further by midday on the second Still some very light blues, but hardly and you can see that warm is starting to make its way east So it looks like we're at least gonna have a little bit of a, a warm-up here after the second Start to take place. That's what it looks like as of right now And here is the five-day forecast on the GEFS. So this is basically the five total days on the GEFS, which is the GFS Ensemble model, this is the average of all five days from the 27th through the 1st. You can see out there west, so very western Texas into the four corner states, Nevada, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. We're all dealing with pretty far above average temperatures for these regions in those oranges and reds. Florida is slightly above average as well as Maine over the entire thing, even though you saw at the later portion of the of the forecasted range so the first through the second we do see a big cool down there for new england but overall it is going to be quite warm in that beginning portion we do see this cool down from montana into the dakotas nebraska kansas oklahoma arkansas into some of those gulf states like louisiana mississippi alabama georgia then back up through south carolina north carolina tennessee kentucky virginia west virginia maryland dc Pennsylvania, upstate New York, and then as you see, again, New England isn't quite as cold on the five-day average, but there will be t cold at times for you guys. We also see the Great Lakes region being pretty far below average temperatures as well, and then down into Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota. All of these regions are pretty far below average for a five-day period, and it will be one of the biggest cooldowns of the season so far. And what I mean by the season is basically this after the summer cool season. So we're heading into the 2019 to 2020 cool season for the northern hemisphere. So that's what I would mean by this season. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video talking about this upcoming cooldown. This one's going to, again, extend from basically now or tomorrow until about the 1st or 2nd of September. So this is going to last into the beginning of September. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys really enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.